Hello, more purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I'm Purple Rodri. Now, last time we finished off the second half of Stone Tower Temple, we collected all the fairies and pretty much finished off everything that we needed to that's going to set us up for the boss. So, in today's episode, we're going to be taking on the boss of the Stone Tower Temple, which I'm very excited for now. I know we've been looking forward to taking on this boss for quite a while. And I have to tell you guys, it is one of my favorite bosses, and I'm actually really excited to see what it's all going to be about. Every boss so far has had something different, so I'm kind of excited to see, you know, what differences this boss is going to have. With that, though, we went ahead and defeated this guy. He's honestly one of the easiest little bosses to take down, too. This guy has to be one of the simpler little mini bosses to go up against. Now, let me see if I can actually make my way through this place then. Lucky for us, we already have, like, half of this set up. We already have most of the chest open and everything to just, like, get us to this room now all we have to do is actually get there and once we're there i think we'll be completely good i don't think this fight will be too difficult i usually have a pretty easy time with this fight and i'm actually just you know super hyped for it you know the the fight is going to be a lot of fun and i can't wait especially if you guys know you know the secrets behind it and everything that comes with this fight now it looks like this is so much different honestly this is a little bit different than what i'm used to because I'm so used to, like, finding another item here, which I guess we might not be, or maybe we are. This is actually a little bit different. Let me go ahead and just pick up a couple items then. Not the, not the powder keg, guys. Not the powder keg. Let me go ahead and blow some of these people up, though. Before, you know, we make our big entrance, it's better to stock up and honestly be fully prepared. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff needed for this final battle. With that, guys, though, we are ready. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of the final boss of these temples let's go ahead and jump down though and it looks like it's taking us into another universe that's actually really strange I haven't seen that before and this looks quite similar to me With that, guys, we are going to take on the Giant Mast Insect Twin Mold. There is two of them. It looks like each of them have about three eyeballs on their side underneath them, actually. So there's going to have to be different ways to doing this. Let me go ahead and figure this out. This is a little bit strange, honestly, guys. This is not what I'm used to, and I have to be completely honest with you guys. They have definitely changed up this fight. This is not how the fight used to go. So I'm going to try my best to just beat it. And I think we'll be okay. All right. So I shot the first one down. And it looks like some weird eyeball things open. But I can't really reach those eyeballs. So I'm just going to have to shoot him down from here. So far, so good. I actually look like I put a lot of damage on him. And if I could just keep that type of damage going, I think we'd be quite good. Now, let's see. I'm going to focus up on the blue one, I think. Because the red one is just kind of doing its own thing over there. I mean, unless it kind of ran at me. Nope, the red one is still a classic boss. So as you can see, the red one has that diamond at the end of its tail. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that we're going to have to do something with that. But for now, let's focus up on this blue one. Let's see if his eyeballs are going to pop back up. Where are his eyeballs? Are they not here this time? Okay, what in the heck is going on this fight? This is There we go. Its eyeballs are back up. This is not what I'm used to whatsoever. He's got... A ton more eyeballs too so he's got like four eyeballs this time around that I have to shoot down I just got to get some hearts or something these are huge hearts these hearts do a lot <laughs> I don't know they actually just heal up one let me see if I can stand from here though and maybe wow the other one comes running at you as soon as you even get close to shooting the blue one so this is definitely a lot different I think I should be able to hit the blue one from here I'm a pretty good a good shot at this. I'm pretty good at shooting off the bow and arrows. So I'm not too worried about it. There we go. The eyeball's back up too. Let me see. Let me see. Where's that eyeball, baby? Give me that eyeball. All right. It's coming around, right? Where, where the heck is this guy's eyeball? There it is. Let me see if I can pop a good amount of arrows into it. With that, I believe we have defeated the first twin mold. I believe that's going to be the first half of the fight. And then, yeah, there we go. So we got the first twin mold. All right, so here's where I'm assuming the fight is going to get just a little bit differently. It always seems at the halfway points that that's where our Zelda fights just start getting a little bit more difficult, as you guys saw in Great Bay. And with that, a chest has opened up as well. And now this is what I've been expecting. I thought we were going to get this chest a little bit earlier inside of the dungeon. But with that, guys, we're going to go obtain... One of my favorite items in this game because it just really makes things a little bit more different. With that, we have obtained the Giant's Mask. And now there are different uses to this mask. So I'm excited to see 
what kind of use it's actually going to have inside of here now that we finally obtained it. So some of the differences is before it, you used to obtain this mask inside of Stone Tower. So it looks like this guy, what the fudge? He has gone ahead and ripped off the other thing's head. I don't, the other heads from it. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and equip the Giant's mask. And we are about to find out what the Giant's mask can do, ladies and gentlemen. What the fudge? I can't even move right now. So let's go ahead and equip it. And with that, guys, we have become huge. And I guess we are, like, just Hulk smashing everything. I thought that we were going to be able to use our sword like we are normally. But I guess not. That's what they've changed about the Giant's mask. I, get this, I guess the Giant's mask is just going to be... Link going ape crap over everything and just like punching everything. He almost looks like he ate a little bit of spinach. This guy looks like Popeye right now. In all seriousness, he looks like Popeye. Like his arms are just huge and he's just trying to like hit anything in his path. This is very reminiscent of Popeye. We are so much slower in this mode too. I thought we were going to be a bit faster, but I guess not. I don't even know what the heck I'm supposed to do. I'm kind of just trying to figure out what exactly this mask does before, like, really jamming into things. All right, so with that, we took down the little larva. So these will probably grow to be something. But let's see if we can pack some punches into the bigger thing. Okay, he's just running around, like, dodging me. This is really weird, guys. This is not what I was expecting. If you guys have played through the original Majora's Mask, you can just equip the Giant's Mask inside of here. But it also gives you the abilities... To use your sword and everything else which was what makes this fight honestly pretty much a joke so i guess they have to change it quite a bit here in order to make it a little bit more of a difficult fight so that's why we have to like roll roll around and like popeye the crap out of everything if i could like actually punch this thing what the fudge why am i not punching this thing i'm trying my best there we go i actually got a couple moves onto it Let's see if I can actually land a couple more on this guy. I also have to watch my mana meter right now. Because if we run out of mana, it's not going to be a good time. Alright, come on, man. We got to dodge, like, all these different fires. I have to... There's just so much I have going on right now. Going up against Twin Mold. Like, what the heck have they done to this boss? I am so slow, too, that I can barely, like, walk up to him and punch him in the face. Or maybe I'm just, like, really terrible at it. Okay, let me just try to aim myself, like, right in front of him. Maybe this is how you're supposed to beat him up. I like how our punches don't even do that much. We were doing much more with arrows. I wish we could just use arrows on this guy. I would be really content with him, you know, taking some arrows. All right, guys, here he comes. Here he comes. We got to dodge him. And let's see if he's going to be coming out of the ground anytime soon for us to be able to bash him back down. I'm trying to, like, knock this serpent back where it came from. I'm so freaking slow, though. Okay, I got a couple hits on off. Off on it this time. Maybe I can, like, finish it off here. I am so slow. All right, I'm terrible at this fight. Honestly, I am not doing as good as I would have liked. Look how hard it is to hit him. It's honestly, like, his hitbox is really, really terrible. So let's see if we can do a little more to him. Also, if I get hit with those lava freaking fireballs coming at us i just can't even get close to them so it's just a, a bunch of little different strategies that i need to do basically i just need to hope that he's running face first at us and that i can dodge him and then i have to run back and hit him so this is quite different than the twin mold fight that i've previously experienced let's see come on come on come on i got like two punches in that's not bad let's see if we can finish him off here though that was about three punches there all right, so this red one, this red one is the one you have to mess with. That was about four punches. He's getting weaker. I know it. This guy's about to go down, and there we have it, guys. So very nice. That wasn't too bad. It was just a little bit more complicated since I'm not really used to this twin mold fight. With that, though, we're going to pack... Oh, what? This is cool. We're going to go ahead and, like, toss him around like it's Mario 64. And there we have it. So now his eyeball has gone ahead and popped out. So I guess this fight isn't over yet. I thought he was going to be, and am I going to get mana out of that? There we go. That, I remember that from the old school days because I used to just, like, run into these things and just try to pick up everything that I could. Okay, so now we actually know how to hit this guy. So it takes a lot of hits. It takes a lot of hits to bring himself, you know, bring him really out. So hopefully, you know, I'll be able to pack it now. I think I finally learned how to do this, so I should be able to, to 
you know, knock this guy out without too much trouble. Come on, come on, come on. I feel like one more hit and his eyeball should be coming out again. Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong about that one. Come on, come on. Hit his tail, baby. There we go. There we go. We're spinning it again. We're spinning it again. This is such a cool fight, though. I have to tell you guys, I'm having an absolute blast with it. I love doing this type of thing. I love going up against these type of bosses that I've never faced before. So I'm having a really, really good time with this fight. Uh, you know, it may look a little bit difficult, but it's honestly a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun going up against a boss that you didn't know was going to be changed so much. Honestly, guys. All right, let me go ahead and just knock out some of these larvae. These guys are annoying. The larvae are definitely probably the most annoying part of all this. Like, all right, come on, come on. Get up, baby. Get up, get up. Yeah, because they don't let me really pack a punch against this guy. There's just a lot of contributing, like, attributes to us not being able to punch this guy. But I feel like, oh, yeah, we got this, baby. One more, one more. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm one hit away from this guy, like, collapsing. He's about to collapse. So hopefully this will be the last time if I can just, like, grab him. And let's hope that this will, you know, end his little streak, guys. Boom! With that, we went ahead and hit his eye one last time. Now, I'm not sure if that means he's completely out. It doesn't look like it is. So we're going to have to go ahead and do this one more time. This is a little bit tougher of a fight, guys. So let, I guess got to focus up a little bit. Where is he going to be coming out of? Come on. Come on, man. I know you're about to go down. I know this guy is, like, about one hit left. This guy doesn't have a lot left in his book. That was a big hit. That was a big hit. If I could just keep this going. Oh, baby. That was a good hit. One more, baby. Come on. Come back here. He's flying a little too high for me. Dang. If I could just, like, hit him one more. Come at me, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's that. That's that crap I like to see. This guy is so close to going down, my boys. Oh, man. He's going back underground. I'm just going to bash some of these larvae in just to make up for the, for the anger that this twin mold has given me. All right, Twin Mold. Let's see what you got, baby. Let's see what you got coming. Let's see if you got it this time around. Where is he? Where the fudge is he? All right, there he is. He's up in the sky. No wonder I couldn't see him. No wonder I wasn't able to, like, figure out where the heck this guy is. All right, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. I did a lot of damage to him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is that going to knock him down at least? No, I'm actually surprised he hasn't gone down. Okay, okay, we got it. Where, where's he at? Where's he at? He's coming up right around here, too. This guy has to be bound to go down, dude. Come on. There we go. Let's just bash his face in. Okay, well, we, that was kind of strange. I don't think there's a whole pattern or science behind this, except the bash this guy's face in. That's pretty much all I can tell you guys is bash the twin mold in and dodge his attacks. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. Big boy, big boy, big style. Is he going to go down yet? Come on, man. One more big hit. One more big hit. I'm going just crazy right now on this guy. I am walloping him down. How has he not gone down yet? There we have it. So we're finally going to get to toss him one more time. And hopefully this will be the last time we need to take down Twin Mold. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hope for the best. And there we have it, guys. With that, Twin Mold is done. Woo! Very tough battle, actually. It was a lot of fun to do, though. Definitely a little bit different from the other battles I'm used to. But with that, guys, we have gone ahead and defeated the other half of Twin Mold. And we are looking quite good. So, there we go, guys. The blue one was really, really easy. And it was the red one that was giving us quite a bit of trouble, if I gotta say so. Alright, with that, we can take off the Giant's Mask if we want, and go ahead and be shrunk down again. Now that you see this place as a kid, you're like, dang, this place is actually really, really huge. You know, I'm kind of glad that they gave a use to the Giant's Mask. I mean, there was really no use of giving it to you in the Stone Tower Temple, so I think it's kind of cool that they gave it to you here. You know, a little bit of props for some redesign there. With that, we obtain another piece of heart, and we are very close to finishing off our heart container, guys. With that, though, let me go ahead and start stock up a little bit it's crazy seeing this place i just want to make sure i take it in with that guys we have gone ahead and seized twin molds remains so in doing so we freed the innocent spirit that was trapped within let's see what happens here Well, we've helped all of you.
do. That's all we can do. Call us. That's what they're saying. Without being told, we understand. We'll call you from atop the clock tower. What? Their voices sound sad. You don't want to? Forgive your friend. Forgive our friend? What do you mean by forgive? What friend? And with that, guys, we have finished off Stone Tower Temple yet again. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. It's really nice that we're cleaning up things here. So make sure you guys give this video a like. Next time, we will continue from this point. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.